Now it might not look like it with the weather today, but this is the first race of spring in the Sportlink Grand Prix series. Race number four, the Wyndham 20 miler. Behind me, Wyndham Market Cross. That's been standing here for 400 years. There's been a 20 mile race in Wyndham since 1989, 34 years now. And uh, it's a really interesting one. 20 miles, there's not many races over this distance, but for a lot of people, it's a key part of their build up to marathon season, which for a lot of people in a couple of weeks time will be Manchester, a week after that London. So let's find out how things are going to go. We'll get down to race HQ in a few moments time. But interesting thing about 20 milers is that world record for 20 miles is still held by Steve Jones, the only Briton who currently holds a world road racing record that was set in 1985. The record for this race set in the opener in 1989 just under one hour and 50 minutes, set by a certain Mr. N Featherby. Let's get to race HQ. Well, here in a few quiet moments uh, before things really get started here at Wyndham, just stepped out into the grounds of Wyndham Abbey to have a chat with today's race director, Joe Woodley. Joe, uh, a few minutes out from the start of the race, um, what, are the, what sort of preparations have been going on so far this morning? Oh, well, it's uh, been a, a fl flurry of activity for us. Um, we've had all our outside companies coming in, so we have massage tables coming in for obviously pre-race and uh, after race uh, massages. Uh, Bobble Hats have kindly turned up with their supply of hats and obviously you guys as well that's from Sportlink have uh, come along with your, your shop. So we're, we're really grateful for, for everyone that has come along to support us here in that aspect. As far as the, uh, the actual course being set up, we mainly done that yesterday. Uh, so there was just a few little signage things that we had to put out today for HQ etc. Um, and we're really just sort of set to go. Um, there's a couple of uh, different areas that can be very challenging especially with uh, Cavick Hill is always a good one. Um, but we've got some special signage out, out on the course that we hopefully hope that uh, will help people uh, encourage them to get back up that hill. Just outside Race HQ here, it's getting busy inside the hall, so we've stepped out for a minute uh, just to get a quiet moment with Eleanor, who's coming along with Sport, the Sportlink shop uh, again. Uh, your second yep. race out with, with Sportlink. Uh, is, Wyndham yep. 20 mile, so a long one today. Uh, what is the most important thing for you guys to stock today? Probably gels and nutrition stuff, because obviously it's quite a bit longer. You need that a little bit of extra fuel. So we've got the LucasAids gels and you get a cream egg with every purchase as well, added energy. Um, so these are ones I use in the London, which is quite useful. Quite a few people use this as a build up to the London Marathon. So it saves you from carrying around gels if you know you like them on the race day. It's quite useful. And today's shoe of the day, what have you got for us? We've got the Brooks Cascadia today, which we're doing at 80 pounds. So it's a bit of a trail shoe, so it's not quite what you'd expect for the road, but it is quite a bit well cushioned. It's quite a bit lighter than the previous version. So you've probably well enough to take it on the road, but it's definitely more of a trail shoe than it is a hybrid shoe. And doing it at 80 pounds today, plus a free Brooks Gator thing that you can do come some cool stuff with so yeah long one today they're going to be out yeah. there at least two hours probably have you bought some yeah. board games we most certainly have more card games than board games but yeah we brought uno legretto exploding kittens and cards so yeah we'll keep ourselves busy because i'm not running today <laughs> taking another step uh, outside race HQ now to chat to a man with some experience uh, in this event uh, going back a, a few years and coaching experience as well Ray Lindsay is a, a local uh, running coach and uh, you've run this one a few times haven't you? I, I have run it I've run it several times yeah um, um, 
and also as you say coaching I'm sort of helping out with the Norwich Roadrunner junior section and that on a Thursday evening but yeah this is a this is a very good race very a little bit undulating and it's hard but a very good build-up for uh, future marathons or spring marathons that are coming along uh, some people use it mainly as a training run to build up for these uh, like Manchester and London which are coming up and uh, some people take it hard all the way through um, like um, you, you tend to find that if people are doing a marathon in uh, two to four weeks time that they tend to hold back a little bit and see how they feel at the end of it and then get a good idea what their marathon time is going to be in the future. I always think uh, with a 20 mile race and a half marathon, I'm sorry, a marathon, you don't always race them, you run them and you get a good idea what you can do and not what you want to do.
Well, first across the finish line in the women's field, Charlotte Rose from North Norfolk Beach Runners. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Did that all go to plan? You're just telling me it wasn't all ideal. No, it wasn't. Um, I didn't really sort of have a time in mind today because I never know how you're feeling, sort of a marathon training for London. So, um, yeah, I had a bit of a reoccurrence of an old SI joint injury crop up at about mile 10, um, which sort of shortened my stride and sort of lack of power in my stride. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a battle for the last 10 miles, but thankfully I had my club mate Neil Adams dragged me around. So, yeah, just happy to finish and, uh, yeah, managed to get the win. So, yeah. Well, after just uh, under two hours of racing out there, uh, the men's winner, uh, first across the finish line from Ely Runners was Alan Darby. 150 and 27 seconds, Alan. Congratulations. Was that all to plan? Uh, yeah, there wasn't really a plan today, but it went well. Um, I really enjoy this race. I just run hard here. It's good prep for the marathon season, so just went out hard, didn't look at the watch and came home with a PB by about two minutes. So, yeah, pleased. Fairly lonely out there, was it? Yeah, yeah, the first mile or so I had a bit of uh, company, but after that, yeah, pretty lonely, other than the cyclist, obviously. But, but did you, um, uh, what is the aim at the moment? Was this, uh, have you got a marathon in the next few weeks? Or? Milton Keynes, uh, five weeks time. So yeah, it was good prep for that. So actually perfect timing yeah. wise, a race like this at this time. Yeah, yeah. I think most marathon runners like this race because it's good prep for that London Marathon sort of time period basically so normally I do London this time of the year but uh, unfortunately I didn't get the entry in in time so it's Milton Keynes this year but yeah five weeks away so it's looking good. So that's it for your Wyndham 20 miler today no big surprises out on the course the winner came from out of the county but a regular winner uh, over this course uh, Alan Derby but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you liked what you've seen here. And if you want to know the latest that we're doing on Sportlink TV, hit that final lap bell. The next one we're going to be doing is the Trous 10K on Easter Sunday. Always a popular event, that one around a beautiful uh, area just outside of Norwich. So tune in for that one and don't forget, perfect pace makes the perfect race. <laughs>